This 2018 Chinelli Steel Vigorelli is built up as a mean cornering machine, equally capable of fixie tomfoolery. Now let's take a closer look at Raul Lopez's Chinelli Steel Vigorelli in this fixed gear bike check. The Vigorelli is Chinelli's veteran production aluminum track bike, designed to be rigid and handled predictably under high power efforts on the velodrome. But in the mid 20 teens, during the height of the fixed gear criterium scene, may it come back soon, Team Chinelli Chrome found that too much stiffness in a frame set can actually be a bad thing and lead to unpredictable handling in the hairpin corners of the crit course. So Team Chinelli Chrome went back to the drawing board and retuned the legendary Vigorelli specifically to handle the aggressive of riding of fixed gear crits. Thus, the Steel Vigorelli was born and officially hit the market in 2017 with a higher bottom bracket to confidently clear corners, a longer wheelbase for added stability, and a swap over to steel from aluminum to better absorb bumps, corner more firmly, and crash more forgivingly. And Raul Lopez's Steel Vigorelli build readapts this cornering monster for a build that is undoubtedly a blast to ride. The 2018 Steel Vig came in a color that I informally call Costco Mango Salsa. Terrible salsa, by the way. The Vig is constructed out of Columbus Throng tubing, an oversized chromoly that gives the frame set more stiffness and an air of modernity, complete with a tapered head tube and full carbon fork for higher front and stiffness that's totally not just marketing hype. The steel Vigorelli maintains the details of craftsmanship that make Chinelli's feel like they're made with more love than other frame sets that come out of the big country in Asia, from the bombastic paint, logos on every tube imaginable, and then some, some of the cleanest TIG welds on a production bike, and Chinelli stamped dropouts that maintain the company's heritage of producing classic race-ready frame sets. The build furthers the frame set's not-so-subtle attention to detail with the perfectly made on the West Coast Phil Wood C Collar and Chris King inset headset, appropriately anodized to continue the frame's delicious salsa vibes. For the contact points, we have the Richie Trail Risers in a manly 720mm width, hairless chests need not apply, wrapped in Chinelli Mike Giant grips. Fear not though, since these beastly bars are leashed from direct contact with the frames up by a top tube protector. If these bars were any longer though, you'd probably have to use a seat post protector. The bars are connected to a 110mm Chinelli Neos stem, and moving to the rear we have a matching Neos seat post, furthering the frame set's red accents with a carved Brooks C17 and matching Mike Giant ass saver. The pedals are MKS Urban Platforms with Chinelli leather double straps and Chinelli toe clips because wearing your normal everyday shoes on your bike while having enough power transfer is the best thing since clipless pedals. For the drivetrain, we have the increasingly rare SRAM Omniums accompanied by a red Anno SRAM GXP ceramic bearing bottom bracket, a factory 5 lattice purple splatter ring, and 48 tooth connected with wolf tooth bolts that for some reason make me miss the Mexican restaurants back home. The cog is a 17 tooth fill wood, making for a versatile brakeless street ratio, and the entire drivetrain runs silky smooth with an Izumi Super Toughness chain. The wheel are DT Swiss T1800s laced to DT Swiss 370s with DT Swiss aero spokes wrapped in 28C Continental Gator Skins for reliability on battered roads and actual years of skidding, speaking from experience. Although this bike's aggressive colorway and accenting makes me yearn for the simpler days I could ride out for late night chips and burritos with my buddies in California, it's just as aggressive build choices with the man handlebars and a spry frame set reminds me that bikes, especially fixed gears, are just supposed to be fun. Fun to look at, fun to talk about, and fun to ride. Let me know your thoughts on this Chinelli Steel Vigorelli build in the comments below. And if you want to have your bike featured on this weekly bike check series, feel free to check out the top comment or the instructions in the description. And speaking of bikes that I like to check out, 
Our channel sponsor, Wabi Cycles, is the epitome of what makes cycling fun. Every one of Wabi's design choices are meticulously made to give you the purest ride quality for the money. And Wabi executes those choices perfectly with Master Craftsman right here in Taiwan and a friendly bike shop in Denver, Colorado that is eager to answer your questions and get you on a bike that you'll love. This amounts to efficient, elegant, and timeless bikes that you can get from a passionate group of fellow cyclists. Wabi's relentless attention to detail results in Wallace, my 58 centimeter Wabi Special weighing in at 17.5 pounds or 7.97 kilograms straight out of the box. That's well under 20 pounds for a completely steel lugged frame set that has no carbon components. That weight isn't just for quoting and impressing other cyclists though. It results in the best riding experience that I've ever had on a bike with a snappy, responsive, and lively bike that only top shelf steel can bring. That pure fun makes it easy for me to ride Wallace, my Wabi Special, as my only bike as I travel throughout Asia. So if you're looking for the bike that could very well put an end to your search for the perfect bike, consider checking out Wabi Cycles linked at the top of the description because it really is the closest thing that I've ridden to the perfect bike. A fixie famous shout out to Stan Strong 108, Crooks, Ryan Witt, Julian Corona, that's an unfortunate last name in these times, and Eric Avalo for your contributions on Patreon that help to make these fixed gear videos possible.